Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss about binary representation of an unsigned integer number. Okay, so this, this is very important. Our this particular logic obviously will work for only unsigned integer. Okay, so that is you can consider like positive integer how we write in MATLAB. Okay, so see first we should understand what is the algorithm. See as you know, uh, if you are watching this video then I can uh, assume like you are a student of engineering because uh, or at least in uh, BSc or uh, science related course and obviously uh, you know how to convert decimal to binary representation using successive division method alright so this is what we do suppose we have to convert 10 to one binary number then what we do we first divide the uh, 10 that input number by 2 okay and we get 5 as the quotient and 0 as the remainder we write the 0 or the remainder uh, just side of the number or just beside the quotient then again we divide the quotient by 2 we get 2 here uh, remainder is 1 here we write 1 then again we divide this quotient by 2 1 we can get and here we write uh, 0 because uh, 2 is directly divisible so remainder is 0 then again we divide and when we are getting quotient as 0 and here remainder as 1 now we start writing from the uh, downward to the upward direction and we can get 0 1 0 1 0 in the front side 0 there is no value so our output is 1 0 1 0 from the downward to the upward direction okay the same algorithm we are going to follow in our this uh, particular program what we will do we will take input from the user then we will successively divide our input by 2 and uh, in the next iteration we will calculate the quotient and again we will uh, do it recursively all right and we will uh, gradually store our in each stage whatever remainder will produce that will store in an array and at the end of the execution of that particular loop uh, in the array all the coefficients will be stored and then we can use uh, r is equal to 10 star r s plus b as we do in palindrome okay uh, that concept we can apply and from that array we can uh, from the accumulator we can get all the uh, we can just accumulate all the uh, 1 or 0 and then we can form the number okay so see here is the algorithm very simple so you can clearly understand clc clear all close all then x equal to input enter the number we are taking input from the user all right then b equal to define one empty array it is basically storing the remainders okay then m equal to x i am defining our uh, input to i am storing in an m variable if you want you can ignore this also no issue in that then while m greater than 0 all right c equal to remainder m comma 2 b equal to cb m equal to m minus c by 2 end what is this part this part is nothing but same like digit extraction concept whatever i have discussed several times in my previous videos just instead of a, a, a 10 in case of digit extraction here we are writing 2 because we have to successively divide by 2 right see here here we are successively dividing by 2 okay so 2 and to store our remainders in the reverse order what i have written b equal to cb so that whenever remainder will appear it will appear in the front side okay that is we are storing from the downward to the upward direction that can be easily computed by like this fashion b equal to cb if you write b equal to bc then after processing of the while loop again you have to reverse that okay so just take care of uh, this particular small small issues and then r is equal to 0 we are defining and for i equal to 1 colon length of b r is equal to 10 star r s plus b of i n this is like palindrome concept whatever we do just to from the accumulator this basically b array is acting like accumulator it accumulates all the remainder from the remainder to form the number we use this formula right r is equal to 10 star r s plus b of i and end this and at the end of the execution we have to display so display r s in the rs variable our binary representation of input number is going to be stored okay so let us start with 10 itself see 1010 okay so which is basically we know from the digital electronics that the binary representation of 10 is 1010 all right let us check for 8 it is coming as 1000 all right is it is also matching let me show you for one more case uh, let me show you for 15 tell me what is the uh, binary representation of 15 yes one 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 let us check see output is one 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 all right like this you can check for other values but the condition is that this particular code is applicable only for unsigned integer numbers okay as it is mentioned in the question also 
see this statement itself clearly unsigned integer number we have to convert into binary okay because if you uh, use uh, like uh, uh, float or a double type number like suppose 3.5 then for 3 that is integer part this rule is applicable but for 0.5 we have to use separate uh, we have to apply several uh, or different rules right as you know we have to then multiply by 2 and take uh, integers in each iteration all right so those uh, things you can uh, take care of those issues and you can write the code which will work for uh, float or double type data type also but for the time being as in the question it is given that we have to write only the code for but for only uh, unsigned integers so this is the code i hope you have understood the algorithm if you are able to understand the algorithm you can implement the same program in java or c or c plus plus or python whatever your favorable language is okay but don't try to use inbuilt functions like in matlab also inbuilt function is there like deck to bin bin to deck is there binary to decimal decimal to binary but don't try to apply because if you use more and more uh, that inbuilt functions it will decrease your uh, logical reasoning or programming skills okay so always try to write the algorithm how it is happening in practical scenario that's what you just apply in computer understandable language and that's all for programming okay so i'll post the same code in the comment section if you want you can check there thank you for watching